Sean, you joined us on a short-term deal until January. Can you just tell us a bit about how that move came about? Yeah, um, so what were we on? About a week and a half ago, uh, Kevin Miller, obviously the goalkeeper coach, rang me. Um, obviously said Bill was away on international duty. Um, we need another body in to, to, to fill in effectively. Um, would you be interested in coming in for the week? Um, and obviously, I wasn't with the club at the time. I was more than happy in the area. Um, came train Tuesday, train Wednesday, uh, trained on a Thursday. Came in, like I say, not really expecting a deal. Um, and then Thursday night, I had a phone call to say that the club wanted to keep us round and obviously offer me a deal to, you know, come in and, um, obviously support the goalkeepers, but also fight for the shirt. You're no stranger to the club as well. A couple of years ago, you spent uh, a little bit of time training with us as well. So you kind of know a lot about the club, yeah. what its aims are. Yeah, yeah, it was similar then. Um, same again. Obviously, it was the start of pre-season uh, for Exeter and the need of the body in. Um, and again, I need, like for myself, it was, it, was a, it was a good opportunity, obviously, to come in and train with the club at a higher level. Um, but like I say, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a good group here now and it was a good group back then as well. And obviously it shows with the results that they've had this year and back then, obviously, with promotion. You come to us having spent last season at uh, Cheltenham as well and the few seasons before uh, our neighbours Torquay as well. So you bring quite a lot of experience at only 25. 26. 26. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take 25. Um, yeah, like I say, I think my route to where I am now is a bit different than most. Um, you know, majority of my career, I've, I've done the non-league route, came through the non-league pyramid and I'm um, obviously grateful to Cheltenham for giving me my, my opportunity, my break in the Football League last year. Um, obviously didn't play as much as I wanted to last year, as much as I felt I should have, but at the same time, you, you know, it's, you either, you either do well or you learn. Um, so I learned a lot. I learned a lot last year. Obviously, I talk key, same again, ups and downs, a lot of ups. Um, and, you know, like I said, I know obviously it's, it's, it's a Devon rival. Um, and I know a few people might not be too happy, but for me, this is a natural progression. Obviously, Exeter being a League One club, um, it's obviously a brilliant club. You can see obviously around here the, the setup they've got and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I'm just excited to be here. And uh, part of the reason why you were brought in was so that Harry Lee can stay out on loan as well. I guess at his age, it's important that he, you know, you'd know his first hand that he should be playing as much as he can in his first yeah. development. Yeah, again, like I said, my first experience of obviously football in Devon was the Conference South, which Harry's in. Um, I think, again, the best way to learn as, a, as any, any footballer, but especially a goalkeeper, the best way to learn, also the hardest way, is, is exposure to games and exposure to physicality. And, and he's obviously going to learn that at Weston, um, which I'm sure he already has in his short time so far. But yeah, obviously, get on with Harry really well. He's a lovely lad, local lad, um, and we all want him to do well up there. And you've obviously met all your teammates and you met Ville this week as well. I mean, have you, have you found them? Yeah, I trained with Ville yesterday. Seems a lovely lad, really nice lad, obviously, uh, over like on loan from Villa, but over from Finland and just seems like a lad who wants to work really hard and, and do well with his career. You know, he's, like I say, he seems like a lovely lad. Obviously met Woodsy last week, same again, lovely bloke, um, works really hard. And it's like I say, goalkeepers are just the whole group in general. It, it seems like a really good group and a, a group that wants to do well. Like I say, they want to push on with this club. And, and again, that's the same with myself. I want to push on with this club. Um, I feel like I bring some of the group that's already here and it can only make the group stronger. So yeah, again, goalkeepers and the team, it's it's just a really nice group of lads so far. And I can say I'm really, really happy to be here. And how much are you enjoying working under Kev Miller as well? I mean, if you talk about experience, you can't, yeah. you can't find much more experience yeah. than Kev. I, yeah, I've, so far, like I say, again, I've got on with Kev really well. He seems like a smashing bloke. Um, obviously, again, local to the area, which only helps the club, you know, having as, as many local lads I know I'm not very local and obviously there's a few Scottish lads, but yeah, um, again, he's been brilliant with me, Kevin. Obviously, I'm thankful for the opportunities he's given us for bringing us in here. You've joined us on a short-term deal till January as well. I mean, what are your aims for that period and going forward? Yeah, my aim is to get the number one shirt. Like I say, I've 
I spoke to Bill yesterday and I'm sure Woodsy's aware obviously with the career he's had, you know, as much as it's viewed as a short term deal and whatnot. My aim is to get into the into the league side and start an eleven as soon as I possibly can. Um whilst I'm not on it, of course I'm gonna push Villa and I'm gonna push Woodsy to be the best they can be. That's just how I am, you know. You've, you, uh, I'd like to think I'm a good professional for the team and for myself. So whilst I'm not in, I'll push him. But like I say, the ultimate aim is to be the one who's starting on a Saturday. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much.